In the spring of 2018, 100 people from five continents and every major spiritual tradition came together to talk with each other, pray with each other, sing together, dance together, meditate together, laugh together, to see if they could discover beyond differences, mutuality, beyond doctrine, understanding, beyond separation, fellowship, beyond division, love. Truth is not, is not the sole possession of any one tradition. Everyone you meet is an embodiment of that reality. It doesn't matter what they look like or what they believe in or don't believe in. We all are expressions of that one reality. The best way to overcome polarization is to become friends, genuine friends. Then, secondly, it's critical to simultaneously be doing the work of becoming a better human being, doesn't matter what your religion. La interespiritualidad para mí tiene esa, eh, esa capacidad de permitir que todos podamos existir, que todos podamos seguir nuestro propio camino, pero encontrándonos en corazón a corazón con los demás. Uno puede sentir que unando las voces, y en el fondo, digamos, lo interreligioso parece una sinfonía donde cada uno toca su propio instrumento, pero lo que sale de todos esos corazones unidos es una sinfonía, y creo que eso es muy hermoso. You know, I don't read in the Gospels or even in the biblical text that Jesus asked what religion people came from when he created community with them. In more and more Lutheran churches in Denmark today, you see meditation. We don't call it mindfulness, but Christfulness. In all these different faiths, they have taken different path, but, but to the same direction. So why we should feel that superiority or inferiority, you know? The idea that the world is deeply interconnected is a, is a spiritual statement, it's a faith statement. You know, Dr. King said, um, all of life is interconnected. This is the, the interconnected structure of reality. What affects one affects all, and I can't be free unless you're free. I started to have this sense of like unity where in the same way that that hand that I was holding could have been my hand, that person could have been me and vice versa. And it was just a perfect physical depiction of some of the things that we learned here, that spirituality can be practiced in many different ways, but at the end of the day, it's all one, it's all together, yeah. I think hearing the voice of the youth was, was fascinating. I haven't, I haven't been um, faced with the clear articulations and opinions of people average age, 25 probably, um, answering some quite challenging questions and, and how that kind of maturity that I didn't have at that age uh, is, is coming earlier. There has been this profound betrayal of the genuine spiritual impulse. Um, particularly with gender and sexuality. The people that I have met here express a possibility of peace that allows me in this time of polarization and struggle to finally feel hope. Hacen que mi alma tiemble de amor. Son unos ojos tan bellos, bellos. Ojos más lindos no he visto yo. What are you willing to die for? Spiritual reality is not spiritual reality there, it's the reality right here. They found that their differences were a source of endless delight and insight. If we're willing to be authentic and honest, that really is the path for healing. Okay, well. <laughs>